Hey, this is Linda at Rima Music. I get asked quite frequently in my band department, how do I take care of my clarinet? What do I need to do to clean it? Well, let me show you. When your clarinet is taken apart, you are able to use a swab to clean it out. We have two styles of swabs. One is a cotton swab, just like this, and the other is a silk swab like this. They both can do the same thing. And so what you do is you take the weight on the string and you just throw it down through the instrument part, just like that. And you just pull it through a couple of times. That way you can get the moisture out of the instrument and away from your pads. The same thing with the other body part. Sometimes they cooperate and sometimes they don't. So you just have to be careful when you pull it through that you get it all the way through and don't get it stuck. You can also use it then in your bell to clean the bell as well. And the mouthpiece in the barrel, you can put it down through there as well and pull through. This one might be a little harder because it's a little thinner to get that swab through um, because of the thinness for the reed. This particular mouthpiece has a mouthpiece patch on it. And this represents where you put your teeth when you're first starting so that you don't bite down and leave teeth marks in your mouthpiece. The mouthpiece, and I will show you, has a cork on the bottom of it. So you'll want to use a little bit of your cork grease to make sure that it fits into the barrel fine. You can run this under a little warm soapy water, but don't get your cork wet because it will dry it out and then you'll have to have that replaced. And then you can also use our Santa Mist to sanitize it when you are done cleaning it. So then when you are done cleaning the clarinet, we have these. These are the pad savers for a clarinet and there are two of them. Because the body shapes are smaller or bigger, the small one goes in here all the way in. The big one, the long one, then goes in this one right here. Again, you'll put these in the instruments when you are done playing and done cleaning them so it'll sit in the case that way. Now the keys on these um, are nickel plated so you'll need to keep a silver polished cloth with you. It's kind of like this one, but this one is for your lacquered instruments. I do have one for silver instruments that you can use on the key. So then you just put your clarinet together and these are harder to put together than you might think because you don't want to bend your keys. So you'll push these two keys here and get that lined up with your octave, your bridge key. Then your bell goes on the bottom. And you got again, you got to be very careful when you put this on. And then you put your barrel on. And then your mouthpiece. And make sure that the reed goes to the back, just like that. Now maintenance on a clarinet, it, again, we recommend bringing it in at least once a year and have it checked over to make sure that the pads are sealing properly and that there's no bent keys or posts or anything of that nature. If you have any other questions, we are here to help you out as well. <laughs>